Let's look at some international news now. Zimbabweans working and living outside their country are willing to invest back home and boost the economy as long as there is a good environment. So says the International Organization for Migration in Southern Africa. More than two million Zimbabweans are estimated to be in neighboring South Africa and Botswana, while thousands are based in the UK, Australia and Canada, among other nations. ENCA correspondent Pindai Dube brings us the story. Zimbabwe's economy is currently bleeding due to a lack of foreign investment. The IOMC Southern Africa Regional Director Charles Quinini, who has met with the Zimbabwean government officials, says citizens outside the country want to spend money back home. Zimbabwe has a very huge human resource capacity in neighboring countries abroad and elsewhere. And they are really very willing and ready to support and make a contribution to their home countries. Their contribution is welcome in whichever way, be it through remittances, uh, skills transfers, social remittances, and uh, even uh, foreign direct uh, I mean investment in the country. So these are things that we think is important, but it will also be important that before we do this, we get the right uh, environment. He says the coronavirus pandemic has had a major impact on migrants. That's because cross-border trading is what supports many Zimbabwe families. There are a lot of uh, income and support and a source of livelihood that migration provides uh, through informal cross-border traders, most of whom are uh, women. And this corona that has resulted in uh, lockdowns and uh, closure of borders has serious social and economic impact on the cross-border traders in particular. In Zimbabwe, the IOM is partnering with a farming foundation to help train migrant retainees and rural communities to generate income. Pindai Harare, Zimbabwe.